Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Ungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's anything that you guys want us to react to, drop us a link in the comment section below, and we'll actually do it for you guys. Other than reaction videos, we have plenty of other things that we do. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly vlogs. We've got um a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. You can head there. Before you head there, you can find us on iTunes, uh, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, and our second YouTube channel. And you can head there, just enjoy the co uh, the content that we're putting out, the conversations. If there's anything that you want to say, let us know. And we'll listen to everything that you have to say. Also, if there's anything that you guys want us to talk about, feel free to let us know. We'll actually talk about it. And on our second YouTube channel, we'll actually post the visual of our podcast. So if, so if you're seeking for the visual, head there. But for the audio, you can find on the other platforms mentioned. We also have a Patreon called uh, Funny and Jesse. You can check it out, become a member, feel free. We'll be very, very grateful. A big shout out to everyone that subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are the best. I always say that. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Just thank you for commenting. Thank you for giving us things to react to. You guys, your effort is the reason why uh, we put in effort as well you give us the zeal to go on so i'm saying thank you for that uh, a big shout out to the person that suggested this as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to proof in the bible Kali is saying i wonder what proof they're talking about but i'm eager to watch this I actually have enjoyed the last two videos that i've posted of him and yeah before i get into the video you guys can follow me on instagram so funny oh i post short stories uh just check it out and i'll be I'll be humbled to know that someone has read something that I'm writing. You can also follow my two blogs, Life of Blue, and that's on WordPress, and on Blogspot, on Blogger, um, it's Morning Coffee with Fanny. So just feel free to check out my work, and I'll appreciate. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. First of all, yes, I did subject not the Bible itself, but I subjected what has been commonly believed concerning Jesus Christ. I subjected that to scrutiny. And I did so with evidences and references from the Bible, Old and New Testament, of which I've only given to you maybe a tenth of the references which I have here, which itself is only a tenth of the references that could be made available to you. And I'll just deal with one. And I'll ask, give you the chance to answer. You give me one reference in the Old or the New Testament to the Trinity. One reference. And the only one you'll find is the one that has been expunged, abrogated. This is the most blatant contradiction of the Bible. Among other blatant contradictions that I read, I say you or anyone else give me a verse from the Bible where Jesus said, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Trinity. Now, if Jesus didn't say that, if the historical Jesus didn't say that, then I say, that's like lying on my mother. That's like lying on my wife. That's like lying on your mother or your wife. And you would not allow somebody to lie on your mother or your wife. You would defend them. And I love Jesus more than I love my wife. And you should love Jesus more than you love your, your wife. And I said that that trinity is a lie and a fabrication against Jesus. And there's no evidence of it in the words of Jesus. Now, we were talking here about the historical 
Jesus. Now relative to the Quran, the Quran has been subjected to scrutiny on a historical basis, on a scriptural basis. As to its source, its references, its validity, it has stood that test. But that's another discussion here. Here we're talking about several blatant inconsistencies relative to the person, the mission, and the message of Jesus Christ. And what I tried to delineate here is that there's obviously two different Christs. There are two separate Christs that are not, they don't collaborate, they don't mix, they're not compatible. One has got to be a lie and the other one's got to be the truth. Now if the one, the historical Jesus that I gave reference to is a lie, then it's up to the people to say that historical Jesus that you referred to is a lie. And the one that I referred to as being the mythological Jesus created by Paul in the church is the truth. So now I give you the chance to give us just one evidence of the Trinity, since that's the biggest lie. Good try. <laughs> I mean, a lot of metaphors, a lot of insinuations, but no direct reference at all to the issue of Trinity from Jesus. And ironically, my friend, in case you don't know this, Paul himself never mentioned the Trinity. The Trinity was decided in 354 by Constantine at the Council of Nicaea. I gave you the hint. I gave you the information. All you had to do was follow the dots. Now, I, I want to make it plain that we Muslims and Christians, we cousins. See, we cousins. We're all one human family. And we ain't gonna break out no knives or no guns, and we ain't gonna take nobody hostage here. <laughs> and we ain't not gonna start no new crusade. What we're trying to do here is, we're trying to reason, said the Lord. Prove all things by reason. And I say, let's go back to the Ten Commandments of Moses. Before we start getting hypothetical, let's go to the Ten Commandments of Moses that starts out like this. Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord thy God is how many? How, how many? End of story. I guess this is a continuation to the uh, video I reacted to before concerning the Trinity. Um, I mean, I think I learned this and we were told how it all began. Why can't Christians also accept that? I mean, not many people will be told this was decided by this person. Or that's why sometimes you have to think when you read something. Sometimes are given figures of speech, sentences constructed in a figurative manner. We are the ones who are supposed to um, now think what could this mean. I wish, um, I wish English or whatever language you, you understand could be put in a, in the most simplest manner so that everyone can understand. And I wish this information was being taught to people that someone actually just started this. Someone just said, okay, we'll now have the Trinity. Okay, we'll now have this. Okay, we'll, we'll now do away with the Old Testament and just follow the New Testament. There's so many things in this world that I wish to learn and I'm coming across them thanks to you guys. And I wish someone out there would also get the information. So as we learn and react to videos, I hope someone someone out there is also learning and getting something at the end of the day and yeah so that's that let me know if there's anything that you want to add or talk about concerning the trinity let us know in the comment section below and we'll appreciate your effort um and if there's anything that 
you want us to react to um by Kali Jessin, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll appreciate make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video